Hello comrades, Kami Sabro here today with Making History, playing as Germany. It's probably been the most requested country um, so far, so yeah, I've decided why not. Let's just, let's just play as Germany, man. <laughs> Germany is a pretty interesting country to play as in this game. Uh, they start out with the largest land army by far, with an impressively powerful air force. Um, and quite a lot of room for development, for approval. Uh, honestly, on a scale only comparable to the USSR or even uh, the United States, and in some ways surpassing even them. So I guess you could almost say it's not exactly hard to play as them, um, especially because Germany has the greatest coal production in the entire game, uh, Pretty much, I'm sure if they have more than even the United States does. Um, not that that's a bad thing, mind you. That's actually a really good thing, all things considered. And see, we can sit here and kind of look. They've got some of the most advanced cities in the game. Uh, they're pretty much uh, higher up than most in terms of industrial output. Um, with the most advanced technology by far. Again, Germany is just is arguably OP early on. Their one greatest weakness is an absolute lack of oil and very limited food supply, which is a huge, huge issue, especially late game, uh, when you're dealing with these countries who have colonial um, territories or who are friends with the United States because they have the United States has such huge oil supplies or even Russia with Russia having such huge oil supplies so that's actually what we're going to do first off is we're going to import as much food and oil uh, as we possibly can and also I am going to check everything I'm deciding if I should even worry about industrialization I should I know I should I'm not too concerned about some of the things that Germany's building here. Like, Berlin is fine. Berlin can keep doing what it's doing. Yeah, just producing those goods. Brennan. Everything, I think everything else is just about we're going to start doing some heavy industrialization in. Uh, even, we'll do Breslau. We'll keep Essen and Frankfurt uh, doing what they're doing. Uh, Kiel, we can keep that. Konigsberg, let's go ahead and industrialize that bad boy as well. So we have a few cities that we're focused on industrialization with. Uh, hell, let's go ahead and even industrialize Leipzig. Because Germany, again, is really, really powerful. Hell, I could probably declare war in my immediate range and defeat them decisively in any type of war engagement. Because Germany is massively powerful. Alright, so now that we got all that out of the way, we basically are maximized production of coal, metals, and oils, which again, we don't have much of, so that's really not saying much. Which, but, you know, metals and coal, we have lots of. We have plenty of supply of that. And, ooh, basic battle for the ship finished in Hamburg. Uh, so that's our navy, the high seas group one. It's a pretty good navy for Germany, considering... You know, Navy is not exactly my biggest concern. However, I find it strange that we have light bombers yet not the technology for light bombers. Huh. So we need to get that. Light bombers are relatively important, even early on. Mm, what else do we need? What would probably be important? Maybe infantry. Improved infantry, definitely. We're going to be fighting a land war against the most powerful European powers, so we are going to need that. We're also going to consolidate our Air Force into one giant, like, fist-pumping beast. And that's what that's going to be here. We're just going to get everything we've got in terms of Air Force. Because my plan is to focus on destroying countries one at a time. And we're probably going to start with Austria. Here's the first... Alright, there we go. See, that's a really powerful Air Force. Dare say 
that's the most powerful Air Force early game. Uh, let's see. Let's get the fifth corpse. Move them down there. We'll leave the sixth corpse on the left. Uh, let's bring over the second corpse into Austria. We really don't need that much. So I'll send those guys over to the uh, to the Rhineland. I'm more concerned about what France does if I declare war on Austria. Uh, France is always kind of the, tr the stranger character in this early game. Sometimes they declare war quickly, sometimes they don't. So, yeah, it's something you need to pay attention to. We are having massive food shortages. We need to request food desperately. And I'm willing to pay for up to 200 food, so hopefully we can build a stockpile. This isn't good. Food is really, this is really bad. We should just go ahead and take over Austria. Maybe we can get some of that food issue under control. We'll, let's see, we'll send in the fifth corpse. And we'll send in the fourth to the south. Take that over, get that out of the way. Okay, they're actually putting up a fight. I figured we'd stand by right over them in one turn. Looks like it's going to take three. There we go. Now Austria is a part of... Ooh, China declared war on communist China. Good stuff, good stuff. So, that might assist our food production. Not really. It actually made it worse. <laughs> oh, man. You can't win as Germany. You can't win. Well, we'll leave the fifth corpse in the south there to border with anybody who might threaten us. Uh, let's see if we can get an alliance with Hungary. Nope. Military axis, maybe? Nope. Okay, well... Czechoslovakia doesn't care for us. Italy loves us, of course. And bam, look, we've already got the, uh, the alliance going with Italy early on. This should deter anyone from actively trying to declare war against us because now they see, oh, hey, look, Germany and uh, Italy have formed a really powerful force. We should be concerned. You know, keep, keep, them, keep them at an arm's um, distance. Well, now that I know that Italy is going to be our ally, I'll actually send the 5th Corps. Uh, well, I'll keep the 5th Corps there in Austria and Ostmark um, in case I decide to declare war on Czechoslovakia and take their lands. Let's see, what culture is this German? Is it just German? Yep, just German. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. Again, this game has a culture system and the idea that if you conquer a territory that's not a part of your culture, um, they won't produce as effectively. So, you know, taking over France is a double-edged sword. It's good at one, one side, it's bad on another. Let's ally with nationalist Spain. Oh, fuck you, Italy. I can see that I've already made a mistake getting involved with Italy. They're going to stop me from having alliances with other people. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I feel like it should be the most powerful uh, force like in, in a, an alliance. That really that makes the end-all decision on, okay, are we going to make an alliance with these guys? Are we not? So on and so forth. I feel like that should really be up to who is the dominant power. Because let's be honest, I'm three, four, almost four times more powerful than... Italy. So it's like, why are you telling me what I can and can't do? That's, that, that doesn't sound like an option to me. But, hey, what do I know? Anyway, we've got our food supply under control now. We're producing 18 food, uh, 19 food now, with constant improvements on the way. Uh, let's take a look, see. Let's make sure everything is getting upgraded the way it should. Because I'm going to, I'm really trying to focus on improving here. By the way, uh, this is a take a look at the transportation infrastructure of the world. As you can see, most of the world is the 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 people you would expect are um, industrialized. With but Germany is the most uh, improved as far as infrastructure goes. So we are dashing around on our freaking our magic cars here in Germany because we're so fast. We basically already got Ferraris and Lamborghinis and whatnot. Yes, 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 yes. We've got the, the newest Volkswagens rolling out. Hundred, yeah, as I was say, this is 1936. Yeah, we've got stuff that's, you know, creeping on 100 horsepower up here, man. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> I feel like that's more horsepower than some of the tanks at this time. <laughs> I apologize ahead of time. It's 5 o'clock in the morning where I am. So, yeah. 
<laughs> if uh, if my commentary gets strange or weird, don't be surprised. It 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 happens after a certain time. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, let's focus on. I guess I want to swap something over to research. Maybe, maybe do I? Nah, nah, I'm good. We'll just research light bombers. And get that. Oh, look, grass. Something okay, industrial. That's good. That's good. How about this? Konigsberg is doing great. Rostock. Let's go ahead and start industrializing Rostock as well. Essen uh, is fine. And Bremen is good. Hanover is fine. Hanover is fine. Hanover is fine. Mines is good. God. Let's go ahead and start. Industrializing that as well. And Munich is fine. Okay, yes, yeah, so everything's doing pretty good. We are well on our way. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy so far with Germany, uh, the way we're industrializing. I'm probably being a lot less aggressive than most people who generally go to Germany are. Um, you can choose to be aggressive early on if you want. It's probably not a bad idea. Oh, damn, Communist China lost. Hmm. So China is one big blob of blue. Too bad that's not going to be enough to hold off German, uh, Japan, right? Damn it, Italy. Damn it, Italy. At least we got a military treaty with them. How you doing, Stalin? You want to be best friends? No? Okay. Cool beans. What about you, Romania? You want to be best friends? Nope. Italy's not going to let us. Italy sucks right now. Mm. I'm so disappointed with Italy. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to turn that into a song. Mm. <laughs> well, I think this is off to a great start. We're 33 turns in, and we're broke as all hell. Our army is running out of supplies, and but our population is recovering from disparaging food shortages. Let's actually start selling coal on the market. Let's do this. Let's make this a thing. Let's sell 600 of it. Think that's good. I think that's good. How about metal? Hmm, no. Yeah, no, no, no. We won't do that. Well, everything else seems to be pretty much in the Once we're done actually expanding our industrialization into advanced in most of these areas, we can actually start producing uh, more goods and whatnot. So we should be able to sell them off pretty, pretty well uh, to make back our money that we're like just hemorrhaging right now because we are losing a lot of money, losing 59 million a turn. And our treasury is already almost yeah two billion dollars in debt. So for that game, that's a lot of for this game, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money to not have. But then again, a lot of it is because we're stockpiling resources. Ooh, Japan declared war on China. So it begins. Yes, little steps of World War Two are slowly coming to fruition. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Well, anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. It is currently turn fifty. And we will continue next time as Germany in our little let's play of making history here. And I hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tune in for the next one because it's probably going to get pretty juicy. Anyway, see you guys.